spiral horns, while the female has yellowish sides and wax horns. The antelope is herbivorous primarily and has adapted to the lack of water in the regions that it is found, and thus it can survive without water for prolonged periods. Now, hunting and exploration. There are various threats that are faced by this antelope or the black buck. That is, it is also it is desired by hunters and poachers for its skin, flesh, and its horns. As well as it faces a threat by various attacking dogs or wild dogs find in the zone, which is also led to another threat that is of the zoonotic virus, which has caused their population to dwindle down to 35,000 globally, as per a 2016 survey. black buck in water. Not only does it draw tourism, but it is also sacred by the Vishnoi community of Jodhpur. At the same time, it is sacred for Hindus as well who consider it as a symbol of power, money and grace. Now here's something personal that I want to discuss. We have all heard about the poaching and the murder of a black buck by a very famous celebrity. This particular organism hasn't achieved this justice yet. Its murder hasn't been justified and nobody stood up for it. What makes us humans believe that we deserve to live on this earth more than they do? That we are better than them? When all we have done so far is exploit... <laughs> exploit... That we have exploited, bludgeoned, and marred this Mother Earth. Her true heirs deserve it more than we do, who give her back as much as they take. String theory, I'm sure you've all heard of it, string theory suggests that all organisms bring certain vibrations on this Earth. Should any organism go extinct, it disrupts the balance. And all we have done is disrupt that balance. 22,000 species are murdered at the hands of human activities every year. But despite all this, I still have hope. I hope and pray that the humanity that we were bestowed with resurfaces so that we stop becoming the monsters that we have become, so that we stop exploiting these organisms as we have. Because our job was to provide for these animals, was to create, was to care for all of God's creations. We do not deserve this earth. This earth is not ours. Our job is of protecting and providing. Thank you so much.